What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matt Toysho here, Leads for Locals. If you're looking for the best LinkedIn automation software tool for your business to generate leads and appointments on LinkedIn, this video is definitely for you. I'm gonna be sharing with you the tool that I'm using for both myself and my clients right now that is super cheap, incredibly powerful, very easy to use, and it's great if you're looking to get leads, appointments, or maybe even build a referral network on LinkedIn. So let's head over to my computer. I'm gonna show you exactly what it is and how to use it, okay? Let's do it. All right, Lead Gen Beast, let's dive into this. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you find it helpful and make sure you subscribe. Come out with all kinds of lead generation tips and strategies, all that good stuff. So uh, anyways, the LinkedIn automation software tool that I'm talking about here is called WeConnect. And it is by far the most powerful uh, automated LinkedIn software that I've ever used. It's incredibly cost effective. It's only, uh, you get a two week free trial, which you can get in the description. And if you go through my link and send me the email address that you use, I will actually send you my LinkedIn messaging scripts for both um, reaching out to your ideal prospects and building a referral network on LinkedIn. So keep that in mind. But um, you get a two week free trial. It's only $49 a month after that. There's no huge uh, setup fees and outrageous monthly fees or anything like that. It's 49 bucks a month. And it is so powerful. Basically, what it allows you to do is uh, it, it basically it sends automatic connection requests to your ideal prospects, which you you build that list in Sales Navigator. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But so you, so you build this list out and it sends automatic connection requests up to 100 per day. And actually, they just change it to 150 per day that you can do. I recommend 100 just to stay safe. But it sends these automatic connection requests. And then when you... Uh, when, when somebody uh, accepts your connection request, it will automatically send a series of follow up messages uh, to try and start that conversation with your new connection request. So it takes out like 95 percent of the manual labor, manual prospecting process uh, on LinkedIn. And it is it, it's just incredibly powerful. The other thing it does, too, is you can connect it to Zapier and extract profile data. So like, e uh, you know, name, email, phone number and things like that. So you can create Facebook retargeting ads just to your uh, brand new LinkedIn connections. You can also send automated emails. Uh, obviously you have to you know, be careful with what you're sending. You don't wanna spam people, but uh, we've had great success using this tool, both um, reaching out to ideal prospects, starting those conversations, generating appointments, while also, uh, um, and, and in addition to that, uh, also building a massive referral network. I've had some clients do really, really well building a referral network using this exact system, okay? So I wanna walk you through how how, uh, how, to, how this actually works, uh, see if it's a good fit for you. For me, it's, a absolute, it's an absolute no-brainer. Two-week free trial, 49 bucks a month, 100 connection requests per day. It automatically follows up, extracts profile data. I mean, it's just insane. So uh, but this is the dashboard. Uh, basically, um, it's also cloud-based. So basically, the way it works is um, you create your account. Uh, it links to your LinkedIn profile. So it's, uh, I guess you would call it cloud-based. And then you just log in. So you don't have to actually have any tabs open when you're running your campaigns. You could turn your computer off and it, it, the, the campaign just runs uh, automatically, okay? Based on the schedule you set for it. So, but at a glance here on the dashboard, you can see how many uh, connection requests your campaign has sent out so far, how many people have accepted those connections, how many people have replied to your connection request uh, or, or any of your follow-up messages. Either way, just people who have replied, right? Uh, so you can get a, a quick glance at the numbers. You can also see people who have viewed your profile because typically when you do this, um, you're going to get a lot more people viewing your profile, which is, again, another reason why you want to make sure your LinkedIn profile is set up correct, too. Um, a lot of people treat their profile like a resume. You need to treat it like a landing page. OK, uh, try and get people book an appointment with you, get them into your funnel, things like that. But you can see who's viewed your profile. You can click right here and connect with them. Um, the other great thing about We Connect is you don't really have to go back on the LinkedIn. Uh, they have a messaging tool here that I'll show you in a second, which is awesome uh, because you can actually organize all of the different conversations that you're having on LinkedIn. But anyway, let's finish up the dashboard and then we'll get into that. See recent activities here, pending invitations. You can uh, withdraw them right here if you want. Um, you can also, uh, there's a settings. Uh, if we go into settings here because we're, we're done here. It makes uh, suggestions and things like that. But if we go into settings, um, so one of the things that LinkedIn does not like is when you have a ton of pending invitations for an extended period of time. So if you go to account settings here, 
Um, you see how uh, uh, auto withdrawal is enabled. So if someone does not accept your connection request within 30 days or, or 30 days or less, uh, WeConnect will actually withdraw that invitation so that it's not pending there for, you know, months and months and months on end. Uh, LinkedIn just doesn't like that. So uh, really, really powerful APIs and integrations. Uh, we can uh, we'll get into that as, as well later. Um, this is where you would actually create uh, or connect. We connect to Zapier. So typically what I do is I'll, I'll, I'll set up a webhook here to extract profile data, put it into a Google Sheet. Um, have it automatically put into an email autoresponder, very simple, basic email. I'm not talking like marketing emails or anything like that. It's basically, we're just saying, hey, we just connected on LinkedIn, figured I'd send you an email as well, uh, just in case you're not on LinkedIn very often. And then we go through the regular message script. So uh, it's really, really powerful. So not only are you connecting and messaging people on LinkedIn, you've also got them, uh, you're emailing them as well. So this is where you would do that. Uh, and you can create all different kinds of webhooks here, and it's really, really easy. All you do, you, know, you go into Zapier, you choose the uh, webhooks by Zapier tool, it'll give you that URL right here, and it, it'll start uh, extracting profile data. It is freaking awesome, super powerful, okay? So uh, that's the API, that's the dashboard. Let's get into the messaging uh, part here really quick, and then I'll show you the campaign manager. I love this messaging dashboard because, again, you can manage all of your uh, conversations on LinkedIn right here in WeConnect. Um, and what I love about it, too, is that you can organize it. So, like, uh, for example, if I click this right here, uh, no, I'm sorry, not, not tags, uh, but you can create tags uh, as well. Uh, if I were to click right here and just click on follow-ups, so let's say, so one of the, the biggest issues that people have with LinkedIn prospecting and lead generation is um, it's hard to keep up with all of the conversations and a lot of leads uh, slip through the cracks. People that may have been interested, you're having a conversation, maybe you don't hear back from them right away. And you, obviously that it doesn't mean the conversation is dead. You just may have to reignite it. So it's just message them again, right? So this is a great way, like once a week, what I'll do, uh, and what I tell my clients to do is once a week, um, after people have responded in a positive way, you've got some kind of conversation going on, you can actually tag them as a follow-up. And then once a week, go through all of your follow-up uh, conversations and just restart them. Just send them a message like, hey, you know, I'm sure you got busy. Uh, just wanted to uh, see if you saw my last message, ask your question, whatever it is, right? So uh, it's it's really, really powerful. So uh, let me refresh here. Let's get uh, Let's go back to newest. And here's a, here's how the, this tagging system works. So let's say, uh, so let, let me click on this new conversation right here. When you click this, it's gonna bring up all of their contact information here. You can visit them on uh, LinkedIn. But what I like to do is right here, uh, you can either mark them as a lead. I tend to just mark them uh, right here. I click these three little dots. Mark as a follow-up, right? So if I mark as a follow-up and then I, I change this over here to follow-ups, I can very easily go through all of the people that I want to follow up with without having to scroll through all of my LinkedIn messages, right? Um, that's what I love about it. The other thing you can do is leave notes. So maybe you get on the phone with them or maybe you're having a conversation. You want to, uh, you said that maybe you'd give them a call on Tuesday or something like that, whatever. Uh, whatever it might be, you can add notes here. You can also do tags. So a follow up or lead is not something that you want to do. You can add a very specific tag here and then you can uh, search by those various tags uh, and it'll bring up all the conversations that have that tag. It's like just it's it's almost like a mini LinkedIn CRM uh, in and of itself right here. So it really helps you stay organized with all of the conversations that you're having. Absolutely love it. Uh, it's super easy to create a campaign. This is the campaign manager right here. We can see. Uh, just at a glance, some basic numbers, 4% connection rate, which is not very good. But I just started this not too long ago, so it usually picks up afterwards. Um, I tend to go for like 15 to 20% connection rate. So if it's not doing that, then uh, I'll make changes to it. But uh, uh, the, the response rate has been really good. So that's um, obviously that's ideal. But let's say we wanted to create a new campaign. Actually, the first thing we need to do is create the, the list inside of Sales Navigator. You don't necessarily have to have Sales Navigator. I really recommend it, though, to build your list because you, there's so many targeting options you have with Sales Navigator. But if we click right here, this is where you add your list. Okay, So we're going to click Add List. And this is basically the list of prospects that you're going to send this campaign out to. We have to create that first. 
And uh, I usually do second and third connections here. So if we head over to Sales Navigator, uh, uh, if you've never used it before, it's incredibly powerful and you get a 30 day free trial to it if you've never used it. Uh, I'm just gonna use a saved search for now. But basically what you do is you, uh, you, you come into Sales Navigator, click all filters, you start building your list, right? Uh, what you wanna do is, uh, let's see, let, let's, let's leave. You wanna save the search and then you're gonna grab the URL, copy it, come back over here, search by URL. It's gonna search and then you can actually save it. Um, you'll, you'll save it inside of WeConnect just like you did in Sales Navigator. I'm not gonna do it here because I already have this list, but if we come back to all of my lists, this is what it looks like. Now, from what I understand, uh, WeConnect typically will take only up to 2,500 people on a list, which that's more than enough. Like people want thousands and thousands of people on their LinkedIn list uh, for prospecting. I don't ever recommend that. Uh, 2,500 is plenty, okay? But basically it'll, it'll populate right here. Once you have your list uploaded into WeConnect, um, you can come in here and start to create your campaign, all right? So we're gonna click add new. And guys, this is so easy. Like, uh, I mean, you could have a campaign up and running in 24 hours. I mean, it's just, uh, it's ridiculous. So I'll just do a test campaign here. Uh, and there's also different types of campaigns you can do. I haven't tested these just yet, but uh, I mean, the, the one that I do that I use is invite new connections, but there's a lot of different things you can do with this. So uh, definitely test it out. But uh, for now, I'll just do invite new connections. And right here is where you're going to select the list that you just uploaded into WeConnect. Okay, it's gonna populate right here. We we'll click save and continue. And this is where you add your messages, okay? Put your connection message. You are limited to 300 characters. You can personalize it as well. We click this button right here, click on first name. And th basically this is like a, if they, for whatever reason, uh, don't have uh, a first name uh, on their profile, it'll put hi there. But I don't ever really do that. Uh, most people have their first name. But uh, anyways, you just click insert and now you can personalize it, okay? Uh, there's a couple of different things you can customize it by if you want. I usually just use first name. It's up to you though. Okay. What you want to do from there though is click add step. And this is basically your follow up messages once somebody accepts your connection request. Now, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier or not, but when somebody does reply, let's say you have four of these messages. Okay. Uh, over the course of, we usually do about three weeks. If someone responds to one of your follow-up messages, WeConnect will automatically turn the campaign off. Uh, that's to avoid sending follow-up messages to people who have already responded. It's unprofessional and it doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, so you, you, want, you want it to automatically stop. So uh, that's just another awesome feature of WeConnect. But right here, we can choose how long we want to wait to send our follow-up messages. So I usually do one day after connection, right? We'll do another message there and then we'll do add step. I'll usually do four days if no reply on this one. We do a message there. Okay, follow-up number three, we'll do eight days on this one. And guys, there's no magic number to this follow-up. It's totally up to you. This is just usually what I do. So we'll put our message there. And then one more, I usually do one connection request message and four follow-ups. And I spread my uh, my four follow-ups over about three weeks, okay? And then right here we'll do, uh, well, I usually do 12 days. 12 days if no reply, okay? And that's it. Uh, that's your connection request and uh, email follow-up sequence, or not email, um, your LinkedIn message follow-up sequence. Next is where you can control how many connection requests and follow-up messages are sent every day. Now, uh, disclaimer, you do have to have at least 100 LinkedIn connections in order to use this software. And it's for the protection of your profile. So, uh, but I, I also recommend if you haven't been active on LinkedIn in a long time, I usually recommend to start around 50 to 60. And then, you know, in a few days, you can bump it up to 75 and then you can bump it up to 90 and then 100, whatever. Right, but you can come in here and adjust how many messages you're doing right there. You can also set uh, a schedule as well. I usually do seven days a week just to maximize opportunity, but you can set the schedule for the campaign right here if you want. You just click save, we'll close now, and then we'll save and continue. And that's it. Uh, you send your campaign. You can save it for later if you want. Uh, I usually, like when you, uh, upload your list from Sales Navigator it does take roughly about 24 hours for all the contacts to get put into the list. But uh, yeah, 
I mean, you wait 24 hours and you can have a campaign launched, ready to go. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is like, in my opinion, just the, the absolute best LinkedIn automation software tool on the market today uh, for the cost and what it's able to do. It's just a no brainer. Like it, it, nothing beats it in my opinion. So uh, let me know what you think about uh, this LinkedIn automation tool in the, uh, in the comments or leave a comment down below what your favorite is. If it's not, we connect and uh, make sure you give this video a, a like. I do appreciate that does help the channel and um, check out the link in the, the, the links in the description. I got some cool stuff for you guys. Make sure you get your two week free trial to WeConnect and uh, send me a, a message via the link in the description. If you go through my link and I'll send you my messaging script uh, for LinkedIn. Okay. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys are crushing it. Uh, I hope this helps you in your business. Get this up and running as soon as possible. LinkedIn is freaking awesome for lead generation. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Take care.